Okay, I'm working on, I'm gonna upload this video to my YouTube. So I always find it's really boring working on coats by myself. So right now I'm working on my Banik Spachduk. Um, here's one of her pockets. I'm gonna top stitch the other side here on this one. Um, and then we're gonna sew these pockets onto her coat and then we're gonna start assembling her coat together. So I am working, my son is napping right now. Um, and I'm working on my Bunnix butt duke. So I'm gonna do a top stitch here. Um, again, my sewing machine is a Janome Professional 6600. So now I'm gonna go over to the iron and I'm gonna iron everything nice and flat. I've lined my pocket, so I'll iron it from this side and then same with this side. And then the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna pin it onto our pocket, um, onto the front of our coat. I'm gonna sew it on. I'm gonna attach the sleeves to the back. I'm, or I'm gonna attach the back to the sleeves, to the front, and then attach the sleeves. Ironing it nice and flat. Same on the other one. Both sides are done. So we're gonna go to the cutting mat and we're gonna pin. Here's the front. We're gonna pin it on. This coat I made longer, so I made it about 21 inches longer. And I'm just gonna eyeball where I'm gonna put her pocket on. Maybe down a little bit more. Okay. Like I said, I'm gonna upload this video to my YouTube so um, that it'll be there. I was trying to finish her coat by today. I just started cutting it out earlier. Um, and then I put my son down for a nap. So, I'm eyeballing. Um, I'm making my gamaksi kashutnka nashloka. I don't know what the Java gamak. Oh, gamak sucks. Um, Bilugos. I've never made them. Is that what you're asking me? If I've made them before? Um, I'm making my Benix Bastuk right now. So, um, I made it bigger. So I'm just kind of pinning her ankle high booties. No, I've never made those. I've made my, um, I made my Benix some, um, mucklucks that were, um, for indoor use. I have the nut rock to make, um, uh, to make the bilugos, but I've never, I haven't made them yet. I need to try, that's like my next big project. So, okay, so I've got them pinned and I'll show you guys. How do I flip you? Yeah, I, I know I wanna try the traditional way. So there's that, um, it's ready to be put together. Here's the rest of my pieces. I've got my two sleeves, Mani. I didn't put cuffs, so I'm just gonna add my trim. I made it longer. Um, here's the back, and then I'll do my hood last. So, and then Juanihua is the liner. I kind of already sewed it together, except I have to fix it. Um, this part lined up, Juani, but this part didn't line up. So I'm gonna have to rip that a little bit. Okay.
Okay. All right. I'm going to sew her sides down. You're going to want to make sure you leave this part open, honey. So I like to start sewing, if I have the material in front of me, from right to left. And then I come honey this way, mock from here, and then all the way around. Okay? Doshi. two actually see I'm real um, bum on my ivory so I found two, two dealers and I'm hopefully I think I found a muck tuck dealer I haven't found a herring egg dealer you know anyone who wants to barter herring eggs good afternoon I'm working on my bunnix bastuk right now so my badunagak, my son is hopefully napping. So there's one side, and I always like to surge and then sitch like that. Hello from New Mexico. So there's one side. I bought you. I'm gonna do the other side. Okay. Same thing on this side. I'll start sewing from the top. I'm gonna work my way around like this. And you just sew all the way around. When you sew it. Shoot, you guys can't see me. When I start sewing, I always backstitch the first part. Pocket a little bit low, but it's okay. Like I said, this video I'm gonna put it on YouTube. So. Also, yeah. So, doy. Now I'm gonna put these. I'm gonna attach these to my um the back. So, like I said, I didn't cut the neck hole yet. I will do this part last. So. I'm going to take both sides. Here's my back. I'm going to turn it this way. And I'm going to just put these and match them. And I'm just going to sew the shoulder part. Come on, From here to here. And that's it. I'm gonna do the same so that when it flips over this is how it looks okay same way do is I'm going to attach the sleeves so you're gonna find your center here like this you're gonna take you're gonna find your center right here and you're gonna mark it you could iron it if you want to so you're going to take that center and you're going to match it to the center. Honey, right here. Center to the center. Okay. When I sew my sleeves, I'll sew first with the body down, the sleeve up. I'm going to sew this way and then I'm going to flip it and sew it the other way.
cool. I wasn't sure if ivory rings were hard to make. I kind of thought they would be, but I don't know. I've never carved ivory before in school. They let us carve on uh, dove soap when we were practicing <laughs> in school. That's what I kind of figured was they were hard to make because the rings are so delicate. delicate. on I'm gonna do the other side and um, then I need her to tr I'm gonna sew it shut and then I need her to try it on so I know where it goes all done babe hey, you wanna look? yeah I do okay I'll be back here check out my kitchen I finally put my cool sticker on there. So you pick sticker. It's not, you can't really see it, but my so you pick sticker. And then uh, my classmates, my girlfriends and I, we started a fund, Future Delta Nurses Fund out in Bethel. Um, that helps um, YK Delta nurses who are going to school to be um, better in the nursing program. So when we have been able to fundraise quite a bit and now they can get scholarships, which is pretty cool. So, like I said, mark that center, match it to the center, and sew down each side. Then you're going to sew down the other. Then you're going to sew it shut. Oh, wait, no, I need Sydney to try it on first to see how it fits here. And I actually can sew it mostly shut. I just need to add my trimming here. So here is her coat outside. So cool. I'm going to take, I need to put the trim on the edges. Hold on, I want you to try this on by the sun to see how it fits you and then I gotta add the trims, okay? 
right. You love it? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna do your colors though. Remember you wanted purple? What color? Purple, pink. Pattern. Okay. Here, so so look at your pocket. Hold on. Where's hold the on. other side? Hold on, you gotta look at your pocket. Hold on, I'll show you. Hold on, I'm gonna show you. So I'm sewing it shut, but I'm leaving a space open because I need to still add the trimming on the end there. And I don't know how much cuff I'm gonna need to put in. I didn't do cuffs on these ones, so I'm gonna just make a makeshift cuff. A lost connection. Okay. I can't tell if I'm on anymore. Okay, look here, Bugless. Am I still live? Can you guys still see me? I don't know. Here, Bugless. Cool. Here, here. come here. Okay, come so try this one on. It's it. It's here. first color. Here, here. Actually, put um. Actually, Wait. let me put this part on so I can see what it looks like. Okay. Cause I'm gonna need to cut up your sleeves. Okay, let me see. Wow, it might be a little too big. And then you can take it in. Put your sleeves down. Put your arms down. Come over here. I don't know what size it is. I'm making it as I go. Put your arm down. Okay. Wait, hold on. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to adjust it. I'm going to adjust it. So let me see. Um, I'm going to have to take it in quite a bit. Put your arm in again. Arm in. Arm in. Okay. Put your sleeves down. Put down. Put down. Okay, where's your wrist? Put your arm down, 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 so I know, okay. Your wrist is here, so I'm gonna need to take it up. Hold on, let me measure this. Uh, hold on, I gotta measure this part. I'll take my hand out so I can pull it. No, 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 I need to measure. Leave your, leave your, leave it there, because I'm gonna cut it down. We're gonna make it smaller. I need to make it smaller. Put your sleeves down again. Put your arm down again. I'm gonna have to actually take it in. So, cause I got, it's pretty big, right? It's pretty big on you. Yeah, if you want, you would be able to wear it next year, but we still won't be able to do it. So that length is perfect though. Okay, put your arm up. Down, 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 down. Okay, look up, look straight, okay. All right, here's your wrist. And your wrist down, it's five and a half. So, hello, I'm gonna have to cut down five and a half. Hold on, let me see, I need a pen. Okay, so sleeve length, we're gonna need to shrink it five and a half inches. So, um, Papa, I'm making my Bunnix coat. Let me show you guys. Oops. I just dropped you guys. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Okay, show them. So we're gonna fix it. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're gonna fix it. So, yeah, yeah we're gonna fix it though. No, I, so. I want it to be like this so then I can like put my hands through these. I know, but we're gonna, I gotta fix it for you. Okay, but the length is good. So I think I can add the trimming on the bottom, but let me let me shrink it in on the sides, okay? I'm gonna shrink it in. You wanna take it off and I'll shrink it in real quick? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me shrink it in. Um, was the sleeves, were they too wide or the, should I shrink it in a little? I want you to shrink it in a little. Just a little, okay. Wait, wait, let's compare my hand to this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my hand is a little small. Yeah. Um, hand me your coat right there. Hand me your purple coat right there. Duncan, I. Duncan, I. Right there. Hand me that purple coat so I can make a thing. Dude, I put that movie on. Daddy, put that movie on. What? Daddy, put your movie on. Okay. I'm not going to shrink it, but I'm going to shrink it on the sides. I was using this coat as a pattern, so... Um, I am going to shrink it a little bit here on the side, so I'm sure. Okay, shrunk it in from here. 
so. Take in the other side as well. No, I'm making her um her coat. I used her Patagonia coat as a pattern and I make I made a pattern out of it. So I basically this is the liner. I'm gonna need to take the liner in as well. Um so I just made this this morning. This is her inside of her coat. So I'm gonna need to fix it because this side matched up. This sleeve didn't match up, so I have to just kind of fix that side. Patagonia, you can send it back and get credit and then get in something else. I usually buy her stuff too on um, those buy sell pages, those buy and sell Patagonia pages. When you get time, can you figure out? Um, yeah, I must. What do you want? Can you figure out how to buy that door to Lowe's South, whatever? I, I can't figure it out. Yeah, you could just buy online, pick up in store, like uh, like how we do the other stuff. I do, but I have an account at Home Depot, so I don't know. I don't have an account with Lowe's, so we'd one of us, we'd have to just set up an account. Yeah. So that should be good. I want this to be a little bit bigger for him. So I need to rip this side, this little side, out. Um. Yeah, I usually buy my kids' clothes like on Mercari or those sites, um, like the used sites, or um, if I'm in Anchorage at Once Upon a Child or th thrift stores. So I don't like to buy things new. I gotta rip this side because I need to fix it. And then I'm gonna have to shrink this side too as well. This is like a down fill, um, so her coat will be down fill. She picked this pink color. I'm gonna get a double-sided um, zipper so that I can actually just sew Originally, the way that I'm used to sewing my coats, because they have the double-sided zipper, is you do pretty much right sides together with your coats, and then you just kind of sew all the way around. At least I don't think I have a Lowe's in account. I can look and see. Yeah, but I've never done that with Lowe's before. Okay, it's too quiet. I'm gonna put music on. Yeah, you could make a wind windbreaker kind. Um, I've been wanting to do um, an anorak style. I think anorak, those are pullover kinds. Um, in Canada, Brodeur Fabrics, they've got the, it's called the Commander Fabric. And that is like the fabric that they use to make the, the goose down coats. Um, but with the Brodeur, you have to like have a quote and then they'll send you that stuff. But um, they have really cool, like, print on them. Um, so 
was debating on if, I mean, I just made myself a parka, so I don't really need to make another one. But if I wanted to, I was gonna order more material. Yeah, they're cool looking. I My friend made one um, and they're really nice looking. So I like kind of was wanting to make one, but I don't really need to make one. Um, Alaska Native Heritage Center reached out and asked if I wanted to teach a sewing class. So I might try and teach one there maybe this summer. We'll see what's, uh, if, if they're able to host me over the summer. Um. Oh, wow. Yeah. Holy cats. Okay. So I'm, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, if I do, um, I will for sure share about it. Um, I've been wanting to teach classes. So I'm, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, if I do, um, I will for sure share about it. Um, I've been wanting to teach classes again in Anchorage. I haven't been able to teach there since COVID. If I do, um, I will for sure share about it. Um, I've been wanting to teach classes again in Anchorage. I haven't been able to teach there since COVID. It's a long time. I gotta rip it a little bit more. Take this sewing to the quilt store here locally. Um, they're having a sale, um, but the gal who um, the gal who's there is the one that helped me made my first coat. Ha uh -uh. Hi. <laughs> I'm just working on my Benex Bastuk. Okay, I think that's going to be enough. So let me see. I want to make sure it's going to match the end to the end. Yep, it's going to work. Okay, I'll just take you over and show you guys. I am. I'm sewing my Bunnix Bachduk right now. So. So I have a um, industrial serger. It's pretty freaking cool. Okay. Where am I? What is happening? Oh, right there. Okay. So I'm matching this end to this end and I'm sewing around the sleeve.
need to, I need to, I'm going to sew this together like this. So I'm going to leave some space because remember I have to trim this down. So I'm just going to sew down from here. And I need to trim some off, so I'm just going to eyeball it and trim it off. With this, so. So like me, bitch Adam is how I sew. So, um, Okay. I want the bottom. So here's the liner. Um, I'm going to. Oops. Okay, I missed some. So I'm going to catch it again. So I'm just going to put this on the inside. I didn't catch, so I just caught it. All right, I'm gonna trim off this. Okay, so make sure my edges are good. All right. Yeah, he's sleeping. Don't be loud. Um, make sure I caught everywhere. Okay, good. Obviously, it's going to be this way because it's going to be on the inside, right? So I'm going to do my trimming on the bottom of the bachduk right now. Um, so I'm going to do my trimming on the bottom of the bachduk right now. Um, so here's the liner. I think I'm going to put a pocket on the inside here. Um, where do pockets normally go? Pockets are the door right here. So, um, here's a perfect little pocket. I'm going to sew that on the inside here. Here's a little inside pocket. 
I'm going to trim the bottom. I'm going to lay the pocket down flat this way. I'm going to lay it down flat this way, and then I'll flip it over like that. So I'm going to do that real quick for an inside pocket. <laughs> You're welcome. Just kidding. I was sick when I checked yours. Okay. The inside. Wait, this is my coat. I'll have a pocket right here. Okay, that's good. Because that's going to be, wait, the shiny side. Yeah. flip it over and I'm going to top stitch it down so there's a little pocket on the inside. I need to find me some seal skin. So now what I'm going to do, um, I need her to try it on again. So um, I'm going to be back. I'm going to go let her try it on and then I'll come right back. Um, yeah, that'd be cool. I want to. I'm hoping to. So um, I'm going to be back because I want her to try it on to see how it fits. Um, and then we'll just go from there. So I'll be or be. I'm gonna go let my bunnik try both the liner and the coat on so I can see how they fit. But here's the liner. Here's that little pocket I made right here. So maybe I'll put one more right here too. And then um, she'll put the other one on. So she'll put it on this way. And then I bought you she'll put it on the other side. So I'm gonna go do those first and then I'll come back. And I'll show you guys. I want to make sure that it's big enough.
Okay, I'm back. So, she loves it. So I just need to trim the sleeves down, but shoot. This is what it looks like. So, they're gonna go on top of each other like this, right? And then here's her little secret pocket. So now I just need to trim down her sleeves right here because they're too big. And then I can do my trim and then I'll do the trim on the bottom. I need to go get a zipper and then I can sew it together and I need to make hoods. So, but I'm gonna go eat. So um, stay tuned. Um, I'll come back on and show you guys as I throw it together. Um, but like I said, I just made this pattern up this morning. So it's uh, coming together. So don't you, I'll, um, I'll be back. I'll be back on after and show you guys. I still need to do the front part for the neck. He's watching a movie with her. Is he up? Is he still crying? Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, I'll be on back later. I'm going to go eat lunch. My son just woke up from his two-minute nap. <laughs> so, um, stay tuned. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll show you guys later. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.